Welcome back. This is uh, episode 222 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where we are talking about all sorts of stuff because yes. uh, actually we have a couple shorter episodes, but uh, we'll get through them. I'm Yuzu Watanabe. And I'm Tobin Kozire. Uh, like Yuzu said, so I'm actually heading off for work for three weeks. Uh, right now I'm in Montreal and I'll be there for yep. a long time freezing my yeah. balls off of my body. They will be falling down and shattering. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of short episodes, and we're going to do an episode about uh, Dragon Age 2, which yes. we went to a launch event for. Yeah. And then we'll be back in a, in a couple weeks. Yeah, and hopefully they'll actually release some good games uh, by that's that what point. I'm hoping, man. I hope. But uh, we got some good games this week. That's right. Uh, did you say the games? Yeah, they're right here. No, uh, you did. Right okay, so <laughs> the games we're playing <laughs> this week, uh, Dead Space 2, Bulletstorm Demo, and Mindjack. Mindjack? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's let's like see, Freejack. <laughs> Oh, man, I haven't seen that movie in ages. Yeah. That was awesome. It's a big robot stepping on people. Uh, uh, yes. Terrible. But <laughs> our new releases, we have quite a few. We have Test Drive Unlimited 2, uh, Dungeons. That looks really good. Yes. It's Mario Sports Mix. Eh, you Don't Know Jack. Old school. Body and Brain Connection. And the Call of Duty Map Pack. Finally. Woo. Yes. But let's get started with... Uh, Test Drive What do we got here? What is this? It's Iron! 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 So we're both, we both went to school in Pittsburgh. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we did so by the time you guys see this episode, the Super Bowl's already over and the Steelers we'll have one. will have crushed the Packers beneath their mighty phalluses. <laughs> their phalli. <laughs> their phalli, yes. Um, um, so yeah, we're drinking Pittsburgh beer in honor of the Stillers. Right. Stillers! Yen's gone downtown. Mm. Fuck up some This is the only Packers. time of the year, right? Well, we pretty much uh, enjoyed, like, in, are somewhat mildly interested. I was going to say, it's not even the only time of the year. It's, like, the only time, like, if the Steelers are in the Super Bowl. Otherwise, yeah. it's like, the Super Bowl comes up, I'm like, I don't give a shit. I just, I mean, we watch, but it's more like an excuse to drink right. and talk to people. But for this one, part. I will talk some shit, man, the Stillers. That's right. I'm going to whoop up. It's going to be so sad if, like, we're just talking on the shit and they just got, it was, like, 70, I know. To, <laughs> 70 to 0. They just got destroyed. That won't happen. No, it's the Stillers. Not. So, okay, that's so two. two. Woo! Um, what do we got, man? This is a game that we were highly anticipating mm. for a while. And then we played it at PAX. Yep. Uh, and the demo was fantastic. It was. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and, the, and you guys got to play the demo because the demo came out uh, right. for everybody. It was the same demo that we played exact at PAX. It was, yeah, I checked it out. It was the same thing. Uh, and you got, to, you got to get a taste of kind of all the different elements mm. of Dead Space 2. It's in many ways... Sorry. Some, <laughs> isn't it awesome? <laughs> this, I forgot how, how this tasted. How this, delicious it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can finish this. <laughs> okay, you are saying. You are a pussy. Uh, this, dude, it tastes this. like freedom. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it tastes like the one of the fucking three rivers. That's what it, it tastes does. like. It does. It's Allegheny. Oh, God. Um, so um, yeah, so so it is very very similar in many ways to Dead Space One. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, and I've seen. If I had any complaint, that's probably my one complaint about it. Mm. Uh, is that like you know they didn't really change that much about this game. Right. Um, they did re- like as far as I've played so far, they got rid of the one big complaint, which was the uh, the fucking turret. Yeah, I haven't I have seen I haven't see seen one. a single turret, which was good because that was that was the only thing we complained about in the first oh, yeah. one. So I mean, you could almost just think of it as as an extension of that one. You know, yeah, they like they DLC, yeah. they put a little bit of polish on things. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you who haven't played Dead Space, it is a space Horror. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's not survival horror, but this it's like is, suspense horror. It's, yeah, because survival horror, I think, like, well, you don't have anything. To, well, you have very little fight back with, right? It's a yeah. pain in the ass. They do, you do have a lot of shit to kill, but it's like you're killing these monsters, and there's just a ton of them. I would call um, it, like, resource management horror. <laughs> Is that a genre? Is that a real thing? I can I imagine myself in like you know like Costco and yeah. saying like that pallet is empty. So. Like, damn it! Should oh. I use this last half can of beans on that zombie or eat it? <laughs> That's how you feel because they they really I think the one of the the best things the Dead Space series does is that they limit you just enough to keep you terrified. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because that's the big thing is is if you get your clips, you know you get you get a bunch of different, you get like the line gun, you get yep. the, the assault weapon, you get spin like the blade, the ripper with the blades, uh, mm-hmm. and if you Javelin. just go plowing into people and just empty your clip into their body, you yep. will be out of ammo. Yeah, you're you're st- stompy McStompsalot for a little while, or you're yeah. swinging, and then you end up dying. Yeah, because it's impossible. Because it is all about uh, uh, decapitation. It's all about yes. these guys got these big fucking stabby death arms, and you got to blow them off with mm-hmm. one or two shots. And, and what's funny is like they realize and they go, Whoop. 
Yeah. You go, Whoo! Yeah. You know, you That's know, why you freeze them. Exactly. And I, this is the best thing, the big, best change about this game that I love so far is that your stasis regenerates slowly. Yes. But what a nice feature. Oh, because before, you'd always have to be going around finding stasis yep. recharge things in the wall or stasis packs. Mm-hmm. You'd have to be buying them like almost like ammo yeah. to recharge all the time. I hardly ever use my stasis it's packs It's now. like Yeah. It's like, well, before, like in the first game, I hardly ever used stasis. Right. Because I was always so worried that... Terrified. Like... It, what happens when I don't have stasis? Yep, so, you gotta then, save it for the boss, or yeah. save it for when you're dying. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like, well, actually, in this one, I, I feel much more, you know, like free. So yeah. to you say, so I use it here, use it there, and and it's just more fun of a game. I, I agree. I th- I, I um, really think that they kind of and one of the big things that I like. So we always always talk about how they invented the whole click the right stick and you can see oh, where you're God. supposed to be yes, going. Yes, that was so awesome. And now they cranked it up <laughs> yep. and now you can hold down the right stick and you say, show me the nearest store, show yep. me the nearest bench to improve my weapon, show save. me the save spot. Save spot. Uh, which what is a cool thing. Yeah. So you're never like fucking, like you're never, mem- you know, like having to try and refer to maps. You're never yep. having to do, it's like you can always find where shit is. Yeah, because the reason you're looking at a map is for the, most times it's like, where's the save point? Where's this? But if you just make it so, follow this line for the closest one, it just, yeah. It just makes it so much easier. Yeah, I love it. Um, and the thing is, is it doesn't make you feel like you're cheating in any way. It doesn't make it feel cheap because chances are you're going to have to be going and fighting some dudes that will destroy you on yes. the way to where you're trying to get to. Yeah. Or sometimes it will be right behind you. So yeah. you'll be like, oh, actually, let me go backtrack where I've already killed all the monsters. So right. it's no big deal. Um, and I cannot emphasize the sound design in this game oh enough. My God. <laughs> the sound design is, is like – I mean the first yeah. one was like this too, but it is like nothing – I think they amped it up for the I, last game. Yeah, I think they have too. Uh, because because uh, the thing is, like with the first game, I remember being kind of like on edge. Yeah. You know, but it's just like no, I could play like two or three hours. Like seriously, every half hour, I feel like I have to take a break because I'm so stressed out. Yeah. Like I'm just like. Oh. Well, you get through a fight and you just like you put it down. You're like, okay, motherfucker. Like I cannot, <laughs> believe, you know, because like there'll be things where it's like an elevator door will open and there will be a dude like right there. I know, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Or they'll you have pounce to do through walls. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, well, they have this interesting pacing where, like, you'll fight all these guys and you'll be like, whew, man, I have, like, two bars of health. Oh, man, let me go over here and go save. And then, bleh, yeah. you know, it comes after. You and think they're going to give you a free, a little free ride. I know. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they do some, uh, you got to admit, though, sometimes they do a little bit of leading on where, like, you see a save point or you see, like, four canisters and they all have health. Right. Right? You're like, mm, I'm going to get fucked in the ass pretty soon. I'm going to get destroyed. <laughs> but, but one thing that I like is there was a yeah. couple times I'd be walking down these corridors and it'd be like minutes since I'd fought anything. Yeah. And, and you'd hear like a rattle or like a scream or yep. something dropping and then you didn't fight something. Because yes. then you're just walking around like on, you know, like uh, you're just like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen and it doesn't and it doesn't and it doesn't and you're just like, just let me out of my misery. Just make it happen. And they do a good job with the pacing. I, I just don't yeah. know if it's almost too much because I like now I can. It's not like I can only play, but I, I only play like half hour, forty five minutes, and I'm like kind of exhausted. Right. So I'm only about four hours in. Wow. But that's across four or five nights of playing, right? Because right? I'm just playing. I'm just like, oh, it's twelve o'clock. I'm, I'm going to read some web pages for a little bit so I, don't I can want calm nightmares. down. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed and see these things in my dreams. Well, dude, that's what it was like last night. It was after the fucking nursery. Yeah. And I don't think it's a spoiler, but that shit is fucked up. Yeah, there's there's exploding, screaming demon babies. babies. Yeah, yeah, and it's not even like... We're, Skittering <laughs> around on the floor. Yeah, but it's not like where they have the, the toddlers which you fight like in the demo. Yeah. We're like, this one's just like... <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> it's awful. What? 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 Really? And it's just like, you know, if it comes close, you just blows up. And I'm just like... Did you, did you get to the part yeah. on the school stage yet? Yes, yes. I, I, there, are some, I, there are some yes. battles in this. Yeah. There are some battles in this where it's just like when you're done with it, you're like, oh my God, like I need to go, I need to go start smoking again so I can go outside <laughs> and have a cigarette and have like a beer and just be yeah. like, I, but I feel like an awesome badass, yes. right? especially if I die once. Kill the whole baby. Yeah, it's just like, take that baby. <laughs> oh, it I'm makes me man. feel so strong. <laughs> I always like beating up people way weaker than me. Yeah, it makes course. me feel awesome. Yeah. Otherwise, but, um, you know, I might lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, how much fun is being in a game where you have something big and they beat you up and you're like, yeah, like that, yeah. that happens all the time. Yeah. Like, fuck I, it. I remember high school. Right. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. So the, the, it, there are just, I, I honestly just loved every second of this game. Yeah. Like I, I have been, I've been, I've been running through so no it. complaints. None. None at all. Mm. I think that I, I I can't remember. Like it's been long enough since we played the first Dead Space. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I feel like they've improved some things. Like I think that the uh, the complexity of the upgrading on the bench is higher. Like I feel like we're getting more really? cores. Yeah. Like the the 
the the branches you can put like thirty cores into a weapon. Well, I think they did that, but it's pretty much the same concept, right? It's just like you go one concept, path the other. I, I feel like it was like I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I, th- I thought that it was a lot more simplistic. Why? Well, the thing that bugs me is like I'm not getting that many nodes, mm-hmm. right? I'm four hours, and I think you know I think I know why because. Excuse me. Once you beat it, you start over, and you get to keep all your upgrades of weapons. So it's uh, actually that encourages you to be sense. a super badass. That totally makes sense because then when you play it on hardcore, fuck you in the ass mode. Exactly. Then you start to get the weapons that are. Super- well, you you need it. Like yeah. you almost need them. So like I have a couple of complaints, and they're really minor. Yeah. Uh, right. Story kind of wasn't there this time around. Like, I was kind of invested in it. Like, I really mm. wanted to see where he was going around. But this one was just like, you meet some guy, they betray you. You meet another guy, I don't know what goes on. Like, like right? I didn't That's feel true. like I was That's... carrying around. Like, I was trying to finish something. It was just like, shit happens again. Isaac's got to clean it That's up. That's true. It's no, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. Um, the, the story's definitely weaker. Like, you meet a couple interesting characters along the way. Yeah. But you know that you're just slogging from A to B. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't feel like you're unraveling a mystery. Exactly. There is no mystery because, like, the marker, like, big deal. And maybe yeah. there is, and maybe you learn it later, but it's just like, it's like, yeah, whatever. It's still scary, so I'll still play it. Yeah. The other thing, uh, which I'm surprised you don't point out, is uh, it's a little too dark sometimes. Hmm. Um, because remember how like we play some of the games like remember Condemned yeah maybe a couple other ones where you basically have to have a flashlight which is attached to your gun mm-hmm. unlike Doom mm-hmm. um, right yeah <laughs> actually, yeah the biggest innovation ever it's a amazing. flashlight that you can shoot at the same time but it, like sometimes like here I'm like going and then I'm like scanning up down like just trying to find mm. stuff so like I felt like I was doing that a little too much in places so the reason why I didn't feel that way um, I actually noticed this too I noticed for a long time I was I was searching through every single room with my flashlight out yeah, and doing yeah. all that stuff and and then I realized that everything you want to pick up glows in the dark. So oh, a lot of times yeah. I would just walk into a room yeah. and I would leave my light off and I'd go and I'd be like, okay, there's some arm ammo, there's some whatever. So you'd walk in the dark. I'd walk basically. in the dark. Huh. Because, because that's, I mean, like, so I mean, I guess it still, it still I leaves guess. the complaint legitimate because yeah. it is very dark. But it didn't, to me, feel like I had to scan every square inch to find shit because it all glows. See, I agree with you up to a point until yeah. about... Three hours in, yeah. where monsters don't glow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? that, now, they that's don't. true. They will, they will fuck you There's up. There's that one place where you have to you know, turn off the oxygen. Yeah. And it's zero G, right? Yeah. And I'm walking, I'm like, oh, okay, like, oh, okay, I'll do this, you know, look for the glowing shit. Walking around, all of a sudden, I did. I'm like, what the fuck? You're talking about the, the yes, producer guy, the yeah. Two of them? Yeah. Because you kill one, you're like, I kind of see one kill, kill, yeah. kill. And, <laughs> like, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> basically what I'm doing is I'm like, hmm, where's some shit to pick up, right? I was like, Ugh. I died. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It happened twice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. so that's, a, again, a minor complaint. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I didn't mind that part. I totally agree with you about the story. The, the darkness, to me, like I I'd felt like they did it well enough that it just added to the Did suspense. you turn the gamma up at all? I mean, can you do you feel yourself seeing pretty well? No, um, I, just, I, I felt or? like there was enough of a difference between, like, you go in rooms that are well, well lit, uh-huh. and then I felt like the places that were really dark, it was f- yeah. enough for a reason. It wasn't mm-hmm. like bullshit doom, like, let's just make everything dark. Yeah, that's true. So I, I didn't mind it too much. Okay, well, so that's some of my minor things. But um, what, one thing yeah. I got to say is it had one of the best suspenseful intros I have ever played. Oh, my God. Where the intro you was don't ridiculous. get a gun for like an <laughs> hour. Like, and I'm not going to tell you guys too much about it because yeah. I feel like that, that would take away. But I mean, there is this, there is this <sighs> suspense level in the beginning where oh you God. just feel so powerless and yeah. you're just really just running you know, and, and trying to stay alive. Like before you get your first gun, yeah. right? It's just like... Uh, is amazing. It's the some intro, of the most blood pumping it's, it's, shit. And it's a tutorial. Yeah. It's essentially a tutorial and they made it amazing and yeah. that's how every game should do it. Yeah, it's a poop your pants tutorial. <laughs> it is It is something else. I did have to clean myself. No. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this this game, um, I mean, after playing it so much, like, it's it's awesome, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's made my best of the year list yet. Considering mm. all the stuff I know, like Portal and all that. Yeah. Like, I remember how we played the demo, like, holy shit, this game's gonna be fucking awesome. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. But like, this one's just like, Portal might be better. Wow. Like a couple of the games might be better to yeah. me. You know what it's, I mean? It's possible. I, I, um, I am... It, for me, it's on my best of list already. So far. All right. But cool. I mean, it, it can be dethroned. It is this just is, February. It is February. <laughs> like, there is, there's, there's no doubt that there is a bunch of shit coming this year. But I mean, I, I, am, I am really, really, yeah, really enjoying it's it. It's excellent. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't had a chance, pick it up. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I mean, your pants. Yeah, it is... It, it is gory and terrifying. I mean, it's one of those things where I wouldn't recommend it to, to anybody. Like, there's some people... I've got friends yeah. that play a lot of Xbox games, and I was uh-huh. telling them about, X, about Dead Space, yeah. and they're like, yeah, I'm not playing that. Yeah, no. Because, I mean, it I, is genuinely freaky. I wouldn't recommend it to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like... <laughs> it's just, seriously, like, this is a very stressful game. I don't know if you really should play it yeah. right now, but... Right. 
If you have somebody around to give you a hug, <laughs> yeah. then maybe play it. But yeah, yes. And the, the whole like stomping on on oh, people. Oh, that, yeah, that's pretty. Guts awesome. coming out everywhere to to find ammo and money and stuff is yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it's so just corpse stomping everywhere you go. Yeah. And um, the the ad campaign behind it was really funny. So yeah, there do we was have this, the thing on it? I no, I, we remember. didn't put that in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But there was this yeah. whole ad campaign where it's like your mom will hate it, and they went out, and I couldn't tell if they're actors or not because they looked. Really, really like moms. I think I think you could seriously get a genuine reaction if you just went to get a bunch of old. Ladies. I think they, I think it was real. Yeah, I think totally. it was real people. So they went and got a bunch of people off the street and had them just. They just <laughs> show, it's moms. It was women. They like middle aged women showed yep. them scenes from Dead Space and they're all like, Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> and they're like, Why would this is? They're like, they're like, they're like almost tearing up. They're like, Why would anyone make this game? I don't understand it. I, I'm angry that you're selling this to children. <laughs> Well, if 17 or years or older, theoretically. If in theory. In theory. <laughs> if I was 13, I would find a way to get my hands on this game, no doubt. I don't, but I look at myself and like, I don't know if I would want to tell my 13 year old self to play this game, because it's kind of <laughs> fucked up. I was pretty fucked up at 13. I, I, me too, but like, <laughs> like, seriously, you're thinking, you're just like, man, he's going to be kind of fucked up for a couple of weeks, right? It's true. Like, it's true. Maybe my 16 year old self. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, that's true. At 13, you might still have some nightmares from this shit. Yeah. I might, actually, at my age. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I well, after to the fucking nursery stage, I'm just like, I, I'm, I need some I time to you go, you go pick up Hansel. You're like, I love you, I love you, but don't blow up, <laughs> don't explode, <laughs> please don't blow up. <laughs> oh, god, but yeah, awesome game, whoop, so good. Next uh, up. so next up, Bullet Storm Bullet demo. Storm demo, yeah. So, um, this was the game that I remember, you know, I went to the big preview release. Uh, we've been seeing all this stuff, it's all about style, about right. killing people with uh, kill with skill, kill with skill, kill with skill. Uh, and the whole thing is about increasing your point total. Going and killing as many yep. people as possible, uh, and in in such clever ways as possible, right? Yeah. Kicking them and throwing them up in the air, shooting mm-hmm. them, bouncing them around, throwing Making, them into spikes. Yeah, killing a bunch at a time, doing right. all these interesting chain reactions. It's uh, it reminds me a lot of that. Cl- Remember the club? Yes. Uh, it reminds Absolutely. me of that where you actually it's almost like a racing game, but instead of racing, you're going around killing people as many points cool. as possible. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the cool thing is, uh, you get leaderboards yep. against the points, but um, they tease that the points would also be usable to uh, upgrade your ship. Oh. As which is not in the demo. Right. Um, right. Which so what'd you think? I wanted to like it. Yeah. I, I really tried hard to like it, and I played it three times through. Yeah. But I don't like it. I don't. I mean, it's... I, I can't like it. It's... it's. So I'm <sighs> actually very surprised at that. I, yeah. Because, because you are such... I'm a such, So what's the difference between this and, like, Geometry Wars? The points seem arbitrary to me. Mm. So like you're going around and you play the level and you know everything kind of pops up. So I shoot a guy mm-hmm. in the face and then I get some points. Right. But if I click him and drag and then pull him to me and then kick him and shoot him in the air and then I get points. Right. Uh, but but it's just like things happen so kind of crazy where sometimes I'll kind of do it and then they'll like fall and I'll get 200 points and I'm just like ah I guess yeah. I just don't feel that immediacy from my actions to the points. Where right. Geometry Wars, that's all it's about, right? Mm, yeah, that's true, because there's an immediate reward for exactly. what you're doing. So for me, my big thing is that um, I would actually have come away thinking that this game was really fun and interesting if there were no points. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> really? Because, yeah, because if I was just free to run through it and then just kind of you know knock trains into people yeah. and blow them up. But you but are. You are, but my instinct is to be creative sometimes. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, huh. I want to just run through gun, 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 yeah, gun, yeah. and it's like, oh, I see an opportunity. There's a spike there. I'll toss him into it. Yeah. But then gun, 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 gun. You know, like, but you can do that. You can, but then you're just a fucking loser, right? Like, because <laughs> they don't encourage it. Right? That's what I'm saying. My problem is, you get to the end of the level, and they'll be like, you know, you got what one thousand points, and it's like all of your friends got twenty seven thousand points, and like you're at the bottom of the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah. and the whole thing is it rubs your face in how shitty you are. It basically. does, and and it, and it basically makes every kill feel like work to me. Where that's exactly what it is for me. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you just shoot somebody yeah. and continue on your merry way, you're like, points. well, I should have slid into him, kicked him up in the air, fucking bounced him and his four buddies off the ground with my lasso and mm-hmm. shot him in the asshole. It, it hoped to do all of that perfectly, right? And then do it again. Yes. And then do it again That's because exactly. you can't ever just kill somebody no. because then you've wasted a bunch of points. It's, it's the thing is like kill with skill, but you're forced to do it. Right. And when you're forced to do it, it's no longer fun. That's that's the I way I felt about it. I think that's what it is. It. Uh, I mean, uh, I, what, what's going to happen is I might just end up 
getting the game when it comes out and then just saying, fuck it all, like, fuck the points, and yeah. then just run through the game and see if I can have some fun that way. But I feel like the points are always going to be this thing just dragging yeah. the fun out of me. Well, well not only that, because I mean, if they actually do make the points so that you upgrade, you're actually going to have a much harder time right. playing, and it's going to be more frustrating and right. all this other stuff. So and like, every leaderboard is going to make me look like a bitch. <laughs> Which they do anyway. <laughs> Shut up! I'm just saying. I'm usually, like, How bottom of different? the middle. <laughs> That's those right, those are my middle. aspirations in life, Lower bottom middle. of the middle. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually kind of disappointed. It looks great. Um, it does. It looks like it has some really good humor, yeah. but the core game mechanic is just not appealing to me. I agree. I agree. Um, I mean, there, there was some funny shit, like uh, like you'd find the alcohol and you could drink it, and then mm-hmm. you, you got drunk, and if you shot people drunk, you got extra intoxication really? points. Cool. Yeah, I mean, so they cool. threw in those things, but that would be funny if it just happened. Like, yeah. it would just be funny if it wasn't this thing where the next time through the level, mm-hmm. I drank the thing again. Well, of course you have to because you know because you're going to get more points. No, the points are there. Yeah, so, so uh, I I don't know. It, it, yeah. you, I, I agree with you. It, it did not tickle the parts of me that want uh, to be tickled. Yeah, and considering it's a point scoring game, yeah. I think they kind of screwed it up. Because for me, I well, the thing is, I didn't like the club either. So yeah. I don't think I like the style of having a first person shooter and points and then doing because really what it does is it forces you to play a first person shooter like I would something like Pac Man uh, Championship mm-hmm. Edition. And I don't want to play a first-person shooter like that. I right. want to like kill people. I want to like have a little bit of randomness. I want to yeah. have some interesting stuff happen. And I want my victory to be that I've beaten the level. I don't want my yes. victory to be that the tenth time I beat the level, I did it better. Yes. That just that doesn't that doesn't work for me. And I, and I agree. So like yeah, not a not a good game. But we'll see if people might like it. This is a damn shame. I know. Um, and then, <laughs> last but not least, I just wanted to very briefly touch upon a game called Mind Jack. Yeah. Uh, so this is not so much a review as a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Buyer beware. Yes. So uh, this came. This game came out early on in the, in the in. It came out a couple weeks ago. Okay, I, don't, yeah. I don't think. Oh, it, well, yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, so I I picked it up because there was nothing else to play. Yep. Against my better judgment. Actually, that's not true. I looked at it and I was like, you know what? Uh, it's a cool idea. It's kind of like a cyberpunky world. You can hop between bodies. Uh, but I had played it at E3, and I was like, yeah. wow, this isn't fun at all. Maybe they fixed it? Maybe they fixed it. <laughs> they didn't fix it. So the, well, the whole mechanic's thing, interesting, right? Like Fear 3 is using it. It's a very interesting yeah, mechanic. Fear 3 uses it, and yeah. I loved it in Fear 3. Yeah, awesome. and, the, and that old David Bowie game that I always mentioned that I always forget the name of. I know, yeah, I forget. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, Om- Omicron. Omicron oh, yes. the Nomad Soul, which was fucking awesome. So awesome. And it had the <laughs> same idea where <laughs> you go, you can... Uh, both take over the bodies of other people or even move your spirit into the body of another person. Oh, okay. So you're going through a firefight and a civilian dies or somebody dies and then you can kind of cast a spirit into them and you're playing and they come back to life and they attack your enemies for you. You can oh. knock a, a, an enemy robot drone out of the sky. Dude, that sounds kind of cool. It does sound kind of cool. So okay. the, the concept is awesome. Mm-hmm. The mechanics are some of the worst shit. Oh, no. Like, all the AI is fucking stupid. The movement is totally jerky like all the combat like there's no it, it is you know all of the environments are completely stale it's just you know you're just running through kind of like an empty bus station and all the guys so are just kind of yeah, basically yeah. there's no no fun to be had i mean it feels like a game that was made eight years ago Ugh, so that's unfortunate yeah so i just want to just say i mean i'm not even going to review it so much as i i played enough of it where i'm just like this is garbage so uh so, so quantum theory quantum theory is worse okay <laughs> Just, no, quantum just theory. Just quantum <laughs> theory was like a shining jewel of her crap. perfect bad. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I have, I have very rarely felt like this. Just this, just visceral urge yeah. to punch people in the face. <laughs> Since, how, since Ninja Bread Man. Since Ninja Bread Man. I just wanted to track them down and be like, this is worse than the Iron Man demo. Yeah. This is worse than Yaris. Yep. Like quantum theory. There is nothing worse than that game. It's a perfect storm of terrible. Yeah. Um, but this way. one just uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's just like a mild squall. Yes. Um, so All right. New releases. We got a shit ton. We're yes. not going to talk too much about. I'm just kind of like letting you guys know. Test Drive Unlimited Two. Really interesting theory of having kind of like open world. Burnout did it better. I'm hoping <laughs> the guy fixed these guys fixed it a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, next up, Dungeons. Ooh, dude, this looks good. This looks very cool. Yeah. So it's, it's it, it is it's kind of like Dungeon Keeper. It looks almost like a clone of Dungeon Keeper. Yeah. Um, but you know, updated graphics. It looks like they have a lot of uh, shit you can buy, like uh, upgrading your. So dungeons. what was Dungeon Keeper? So Dungeon Keeper is you are the manager of a dungeon, and you kind of like. Basically, you know, heroes would come in. You kind of set up this ecosystem. So it's kind of like that uh, one game I really like. Yeah. What would I? What did I do to deserve this? What, oh Lord! In, 
God's um, named, Batman. I do deserve this shitty game. But this Batman. one looks fun to you. It does, as look opposed fun. to the other one. It does. It does look pretty fun um, because I believe that it may have a system that is explained awesome. in some way <laughs> that is that is you know methodical. That and, you don't have to go to Game Facts and read about fifty rules. <laughs> Well, and they do just follow rules. You just have to read this this web page that describes exactly how to build the perfect ecosystem. Fuck that. <laughs> right. But this looks cool. So, I mean, like, yeah. you're gathering resources, you're laying down uh, dudes, you know, like yep. slime packs and, and evil yep. gremlins and goblins. You and see shit. heroes come in, take your gold, no. uh, you kill them, you get soul points, other random stuff like that. Yeah, so. it's, it's almost like defensive StarCraft. You know, like, it's yeah. just this, this kind of, you know, everybody's just attacking you all like the time. Like tower defense, but better. Yeah. A lot better. So we'll try it out. And it's an indie game, so it's going to be cheap. Yeah, hopefully I'm hoping it'll be like 10 or 15 on Steam, yeah. uh, but we don't know. Uh, next up is Mario Sports Mix. Yeah, they have announced an E3. Um, they have volleyball, a couple other stuff. I think if I have nothing better to play, I'll try it, but it's not really high on my list. Don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Jack. Dude, I love this series. Oh. In college? Oh, my God. The, we the, web, the web version? The web oh, version. We yeah. played the shit out of this game. Oh, my God. Every so it's, week. It's a, Yeah, exactly. There'd be a new episode every week. It'd be full of ads to pay for itself, yep. which we didn't even care about. Like It was just a, a really... Really? Seven Up, I believe. I believe it was a Seven was Up. Was it? Ad. Yeah, I think it was back in the day. All right. It was a, it was a really gnarly trivia. Like the yes. guys would just insult the shit out of you, and it was just kind of very edgy and interesting. Yeah, and it's just a trivia game. You usually play with like three players. Yeah. Um, and I think this one is on all the platforms. And I I remember hearing something. They might have some connect stuff. I forget. Okay. So I don't I don't know what you do, but like, I just I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. really hoping that they've got like four person online. I mean, if we if we can get some noob tubers and do oh, online, wow, you I don't even know Jack. Realize online. Yeah, because I mean, oh, we're not going to be able to play in person that much. Yeah. But if we can hop on Xbox or PC and play this against other people online, I would. I'll be all over that. All right, well, let's do it. I love You Don't Know Jack. So it's, it's, yes. yeah, it's just trivia. Yeah, and, it, and it's funny. It's really, really well yeah. done trivia game. I know like sometimes they're kind of crappy, but this is excellent. Yep. Um, Body and Brain Connection. Uh, 360, it's the Kawashima, yeah. Dr. Kawashima. Uh, it's a brain Brain trainer. age. It's, yeah, brain, it's age. brain age. But you use your body. Like, yes. What time is it? Quick, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, 6 o'clock. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not 6 o'clock. <laughs> Beer o'clock. I'm not your monkey. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's that kind of shit. So, yeah. so um, it, is, it is a Connect powered brain trainer. It looks really, really, really fun if you've got young kids or if you've got a family party. over, you know, like your family's visiting for some holiday. I'm probably going to, you know, rent it and play it for about half an hour and say, like, yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah. And then Hans is not again. old enough to play yet. I know. Problem, like, well, I'll hold him up and he'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could, yeah, just like gotta change you again. But a couple years um, from now, this would be the kind of thing that that you'd really like to play. Yeah, absolutely. Kid. Yes. Uh, last one, Call of Duty Black Ops, the first map pack, another big cash in. Yeah, I haven't been playing that much. Mm. Um, and no, I really liked it. I mean, they did fix a lot of stuff, but I, it, it's that, it's what I predicted, right? Yeah. Like, I remember how I played like more for more, more for two for like I don't know, how many months. A long, a long time. And, and all my friends too. They're all just all kind of, a couple of them play it occasionally, but it yeah. just kind of stopped. And I don't know why. But I mean, are are people still kind of blopping? Like, is 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 the blops the the shooter hotness? Every once in a while, but it's not. Again, with my core players, like my yeah. brother and all those guys, like I, I go online. I'm like, anybody, uh, but what are they doing mm-hmm. right now? Do you have any idea? Probably Dead Space. Uh, <laughs> Probably other big games okay, like that. So they're not fall they're not, out. Okay, like, gotcha. So they're, yeah. not, they're not. They're not sticking to the. It shooters. doesn't have the draw. It doesn't okay. have the draw as much. But um, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, contests or uh, donations actually. Yep. So Darcy Thank threw you very down much. some cash. Woo. We appreciate so it. it. Helps out everywhere. It. Yuzo dances for money. Do it. Dance. <laughs> The robot. <laughs> Give us more money, he'll dance better. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the ro- what's the running man? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, you you running can't man? do it sitting down. No, you got to right. you got to yeah. do the whole. Yeah, it is. So awesome. so thank you guys very much. Uh, donations from Darcy and other people. You know, really keep our site going. They allow us to buy games like Mind Jack. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys for keeping us running and keeping the website running. We really appreciate it. Yep. Each week, like to feature new to our new show, send in videos with questions, reviews of game, funny stories, or whatever. Yep. You can contact us toll free at eight 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 two three. 38480 send your files to feedback at noobtube.com also post them as video responses on YouTube yes and uh, please give you all videos in a minute if you want to be featured on the show and don't forget the yens yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, first up is hat trick hmm hey guys it's hat trick from uh, New Hampshire and uh, from the forums, and I just wanted to uh, first say thank you so much for uh, recommending Professor Layton. Um, I had only played a demo up until I uh, played recently um, Unwound Future and loved it. Um, I sunk so many hours into it and beat it finally. Um, great game. Also, um, with the new one um, coming out for 3DS, A Massive Miracle, looks like they're going to change a lot of stuff up. 
um, where you're moving around more RPG like and some more action oriented puzzles and and uh, traversing the land and everything. So just want to know what you guys thought. Um, check out the <laughs> Japanese uh, site for it, uh, trailers and everything. Yeah. We went and we checked out the the Japanese site for this with the the trailer. It's got a little bit of gameplay in there. A little bit, but what we saw. It doesn't look. I mean, like it looks like they really <sighs> amped up the the puzzle shit in late. Yeah. This is it's this more is action, fascinating, right? Yeah. Um, so like like before, like you would see a screen and be like, figure this shit out, write right. a number. Yeah, add six plus seven, right? Yeah. And you just you just write it down. But this one, there, there'll be like these weird, you know, like mazes on a on a sphere, and and you're actually walking in multi dimensions, and you know, it it looks like they really stepped it up a notch. I'm assuming yeah. to use some 3D stuff. Yeah, and that's what I hope because I mean, like if you look at like how how Layton is working for the most part, right? Like they, they kind of have all a bunch of different puzzles, but it's just like it's kind of the same stuff, and they yep. haven't really reinvigorated the genre. And this one looks like it's going to. It does, and it looks like it'll really kind of switch up what, the way we think about these puzzles. So yeah. I can't wait. I mean, the problem is we don't have a release date for this. Well, it's going to be in Japan. Is it a launch game for Japan? Yeah, it's a it's launch, launch date game. for Japan. So basically, put about six to nine months after that. Right. So, so maybe at the very end of this year, Christmas. Maybe if we're lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then one last little one. One last little one mm. from our. Fans. Yeah. Hey, Nootube, this is Rick Almos, and in the UK, we're getting the 3DS 2 discs for you, do bitches. Yo! UK? He didn't sound like it was from the UK. Yeah, it didn't sound British. I think he's um. fibbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes. get it two days early. Yeah, but you know, in. you know how much more you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You whatever we're paying in dollars, you're paying in pounds. They just yeah. they just they just scratch out the dollar sign and put an L. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with a couple of dashes. Yeah, with or the, whatever like that. they do. They yeah, add, those... and then they add a U. <laughs> Duelers. Yeah, that's a duelers. <laughs> but like, no. So, like, what is? What's the plan? Do they announce the price for uh for for US? Two fifty. Two fifty. So it's probably two hundred fifty pounds. So it's probably going to be about what, like four hundred dollars? Yeah, something like Essentially. that. Essentially. So you guys, yeah, like three fifty. Yeah. Does that include that? Maybe I don't it's like six hundred bucks. I don't even know. I think you guys pay so much for stuff. I can't even wrap my head around it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay with yeah. Know, two days later. Yeah, we'll take it for two <laughs> days later. Uh, <laughs> so that, that's our show for the week. Yes. Please check our website, newtube.com, and please follow us by clicking on the top of the page. And also, please be sure to follow us on uh, Twitter at NoobTube, as well as like us on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, we'll do shit like the other night. Uh, you and I hopped on Twitter, oh, yeah. and we said, you know, we're gonna go play. Uh, what's it called? Magica. Magica. Review uh, next week. Somebody hop on to Ventrilo, and boom, we yeah, had two YouTubers guys. in there playing. So I mean, hopped like. If you follow us on Facebook and YouTube sometime or Twitter, shit will happen. Yeah, we'll do events and all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah, titties will come out. Yeah. So if you're watching <laughs> this video, titties. if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscri- subscription button right up here. Also, give this video a big thumbs up by tapping the tap tapity junk. That's all for this episode. I am Tobin Kozire. I am Yuzu Watanabe. Audio engineering is done by Range Black Gimli Strunk. And my ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. See you next week. We're out. Ready, sir? Mm. Oh, I get my nipples hard. That's right. Woo. All right. <laughs> He's my son. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Hold on. <laughs> ah. All right. I think we're ready. Let's do it. Okay.